I actually was in a partnership for a short time after I started the business with a sales training man. Oh, good, you finally got it. Thank you. It takes a while, you know, if you had the pizza yet. <laughs> I was in this uh, partnership for a while. Uh, John, I'll call him, came to me and he said, you know, Valerie, you've got the people skills aspect and I've got the hard edge sales training measurable stuff. Why don't we join forces? And I said, great. So we put together a brochure, don't you know, that had all the listings of what we would do as a company. After nine months of doing sales training, selling sales training, teaching sales training, writing sales training, I went into John and I said, John, when are we going to do this part of what we said we're going to do? My side. And here's what he said. I don't know that we will. You know, those soft skills, I've always hated that word, those words because hard dollars are made with soft skills. But he said, those soft skills I don't believe companies will pay for. Well, I didn't get angry right then. <laughs> I went home, and then I really got upset. But you know, serendipity visited me that weekend. I don't know if you've ever had Sarah come along. Dippity's her last name. But I went to hear a speaker that weekend. She was a motivational speaker. And she talked for about an hour, saying over and over and over again, you can, you can, you can. She was a principal in an Alabama school. She was known as the I Can Lady. Mamie McCullough is her name. Some of you may know her. She was with Zig Ziglar for many years. And her claim to fame was that she would go into the schools in Alabama and she had this soup can that she put a piece of paper around and drew a big I on it that said, I can. And when a little kid would come up to her and say, Miss Mamie, I can't, she'd say, well, I don't know what an I can't looks like. But I know what an I can looks like, so you can just go back, little Johnny, and you see if you can't do it. <laughs> and so she had that as a speech, and I left that serendipity opportunity. And I went into my car, true story, and I said, yes, I can, and I will. Because I believed with all my heart that people skills was important. I asked her to come over that weekend. I called her. She lives in Dallas. I got her phone number. And I said, would you come over and just look at my things that I've written all these years in professional development programs around people skills? Because I've just been told that it doesn't have any value. And she came over. She sat down at my dining room table. She had those little granny glasses on, you know. And she looked up over those glasses and she said, You've got enough stuff here to write two bullocks, two syllables, Alabama, <laughs> two books. And I said, Mamie, books? I mean, I just wanted you to look at, she says, no, you really do. And here's a card of a publisher that's been calling me and Zig to write books. Why don't you call him? Eight books later, I'm still in business. I don't know what John is doing. But my learning from that is this. You sitting here today have strengths and you have capabilities unlike anybody else. That's why I ask you to hold your thumb up. And don't you let anybody tell you you can't because you're going to find the best job out there and you're going to do the best work and you're going to build your brand in a way that's differentiated from everybody else. So let's get started on how we're going to do that.